Hello everyone and welcome to Charlotte and Zeke play Exit, Exit the, Gungeon. the Gungeon. I was so close to saying enter. I was so close. <laughs> okay, we're going to be playing as the convict today, but uh, also... Whoops, I'm the one playing. Yeah, Charlotte wants to give it a try. And because we haven't got a co-op, or there isn't a co-op, we're not sure yet. Well, either way, we don't have access to a co-op mo mode at the moment. So, we're just going to take it in turns every now and then. Yeah. Shoot, shoot. Easy. This game's easy. I don't know what Zeke's complaining about. There you are. Whoa. And your gun's changed. Cool. Oh, this one's nicer. <laughs> yeah. Less aim. Um, all the characters that you play out at the beginning are quite Ooh. easy as well. Like, not easy, but you know, they're easy to understand. Yeah. So, Charlotte's playing as the convict right now, who, um, just like in the no! first one. Good example, actually. He touched me. He touched you. You got a little angry face above you, and that was a damage buff for a moment. Oh, the time I wasn't firing. Yeah, well, there wasn't <laughs> anything to fire at, really. Whoa, you've got to stop that. You can, remember, you can shoot up and down through floors. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I found that a little hard as well. Shoot, shoot, shoot. This one's the e one eggs. that fires homing bullets. Once oh, they he, hit. He, oh god. Everything's trying to kill me and I don't like it. Yep. Remember, you, you got a dodge roll too. Oh yeah. Wee. 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 I find the jump a lot more useful than the dodge roll, but I know it's gonna. I know my hubris is going to oh. get the better of me. Oh. How do I. What the hell is this gun? The gun zang. It mildly homes in with lots of weak shots. Right. It sounds nice. Yeah, it's an instrument. Oh! The screecher. Some guns are automatic. Yeah, this is one of them. Yeah. Gonna get you. Hey hey. Um, an option I've enabled, which you can, you're welcome to turn off, by the way, mm -hmm. is... um. I tried this out because, you know, I've never used it before. There's an option to make it so guns that charge, as soon as they're charged, they fire their shots. And I've enabled. Whoa! Ooh. What the hell happened there? Ah, uh, that rubber bullet bounced you into an enemy. Oh, jerk. And you, jerk. As well. Yeah, if you get a charged weapon, it'll fire as soon as it's charged. By the way. Oh, okay. Like we, we can turn that off. It's just an option that I wanted to try out because I'd never done it. Oops. Now you know my pain. <laughs> Bees. Honeycomb, be prepared. Is that the one that when you get hit you make bees? I think it was in the first game. Oh, that's cool. I want to get beehive gun. I wonder if there's synergies in this game. You must be right. I don't know, because like, it seems a little more arcadey and less roguelite-y. Hmm. Oh, there's some health bouncing around. Well, it can come down here because there's enemies up there. Yeah, get hit, make bees. Hey. Get hit, make money. Something I've noticed is, um, you know, you've got your combo meter in the top right, yeah. which is just like take, killing enemies without taking damage, rewarding you with better guns from the randomizer. Yeah. Um, if you pick up health when you're at full health, it just ups your combo by one. Oh, that's neat. So bosses are quite good for that. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Leave me alone. Okay. Eat bees. What's that power up? Touch. Meat gun. Oh, it heals you. In... Oh, good. I need that. It heals you a bit and it ups your damage for a little bit, I think. Oh, it got me right in the face. Another heart. Ooh, yes. Get shot. Do you know what? The dog is so useful just for grabbing that stuff. Yeah. Don't know. That's it. Remember, you can aim with the other stick if it's helpful. It is, it's just I keep forgetting. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. That one is fun. <laughs> uh oh. The Medusa Leah. What's. She's got a cannon. They've combined Medusa with a mini boss. And Medusa did die, so like. Yeah. Well, it wasn't Medusa, it was the Gorgon. 
Way what? Either Oops. way. Oops. Oh, what are they? They're shooting at you. I wish they were not Yeah, they're just wall enemies. Uh, don't like this. You got it, man. No, I don't. I cursed you. <laughs> the second you said it sounded. Oh, you got this, man. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Wanna go again? I'll go again. Same character? Yeah, why not? Give him a good run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you finding it? I know it's only your first run. I'm finding it easier to pick up than Gungeon. Are you really? A, a little bit, yeah. Look how long they're avoiding that for. Oh, <laughs> I think it'll vanish eventually. <laughs> If not, it's definitely something that they should add. Game theory. If you add, if you make a video on this, you have to credit me. I discovered it. <laughs> I didn't do it, but I discovered it. In theory. Come on, jerks. Get it. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, there's another up. Oh, God. Give me a rifle. Don't give me rifles. Don't make me a snip. Meat burn, yeah, it healed you. Yeah. I do kind of miss having the crosshair, though, don't you? Yeah. Like, I think that's been one of my biggest complaints with the game. Oh, yeah, pick up that health before you get hit, and you just add one to your combo. Oh, cool. Shit. There goes your combo. And you could really use that health now. I know, right? <laughs> Imagine! Sorry. Also, this is going to come up um, after Animal Crossing releases, so you'll already be seeing Animal Crossing on the channel. But goddamn, it's Animal Crossing Day tomorrow. Tomorrow. For us, right now, it's tomorrow. Um, <laughs> that doesn't. Do, yeah, do you want to try that one again? <laughs> for us, right now, as of this recording, Animal Crossing releases tomorrow. Yes, it is the nineteenth of March. And I am hype. Hype. Me and Charlotte still don't know what we're going to name our island, but I guess you guys will already know what that island is. Watch our Animal Crossing videos, you <laughs> beautiful people. Yeah, we haven't even recorded them yet. Why aren't you watching them? They're going to be up when this comes out. Uh. Batman. We're going to be we're going to be live Trick streaming up. it a lot. We're going to play co-op a lot. How many people are playing co-op Animal Crossing? Probably everyone, but I mean probably if they can. You seem to forget that gamers are a, a, a solitary race. Yeah. Shells everywhere. Oh. oh. I Yay. Ooh. Ooh. Healthy nice. meal. Mmm, delicious. Hey. Hey, ho, let's yeah, go. We still don't know what we're naming our island. You guys already know. But, like, we've got this text list on our computer, which is just a list of all potential names. Yeah. I'm hoping that we get to name it after we know what our fruit is, because some of our names are fruit based. I get. We never have before, though. Hmm. Uh, it's tough. Stuff. I know, right? Hey. You got this, man. I feel like I'm getting better. Yeah. Oops. Oh, this is a bouncy gun. Oh, sweet. Sorry. Yeah, just spam the bullets. <laughs> you can't touch me. They're gonna hit you. It's the curse. <laughs> Ooh! I thought he'd do it. No, but he did die. Oh, oh, he got me though. Little Batman. The little Batman. Little Batman. I am the knight. I am the gun. Oh! Oh crap, I hate this boss. The egg Stupid. Get it. Okay, um. Oh, it's the mailbox. Oh! The bartender man said something real stupid to me. Right. This thing's Agnyan, right? Oh, yes. He said that he came in here looking for Tonic, the sledge dog. Oh. Whoa. He wasn't there when he killed you. No. 
But yeah, apparently he's entered the dungeon recently looking for Tonic the Sledge Dog from the first game. Oh. Cool, I guess. It's just a big Sonic joke. Mm -hmm. It's Tonic the Sledge Dog and Eggnyan. Well, that's silly. Yeah, it's real silly. <laughs> You're really good at dodging that. Thank you. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, we were. Oh, oh got me. I think, I think. <laughs> you might not know this about me. <laughs> <laughs> but I think quite often. <laughs> I think it must, it must vanish, right? Oh, God, I'm sucking on this one. It's all right. Oops. You know, what's a great story without a little conflict? I don't know. Blunderbuss is a charge. Oh. So you may as well just hold the charge button down. Me. Me. No, it kind of bounced. Leave me kind alone. Of. It shoots, I think it shoots a bunch of just like random ass bullets. Oh, I've got lazy beam. Mm -hmm. oh, Excuse me, I sipped directly into the mic. I can't aim this for shit. <laughs> It's because you got to use the the uh, the other stick, which you're a little less comfortable with. Yeah. The it's so silly. Do you know what? I was trying to think what this game's been reminding me of the last few days. Hmm. And I think I've got the perfect comparison. Okay. You know, because it feels a lot like OG Gungeon, right? Yeah. But it feels like OG Gungeon combined with uh, Super Crate Box. Oh, I remember Super Crate Box. Doesn't it, though? Yeah. With the random weapon changing oh, and oh stuff. God. Like, it's a little different, don't get me wrong, but I get the vibe from it. Like, if I were to pitch this to someone in an elevator, it would be, you know, Gungeon meets Super Crate Box. Yeah. Maybe you could not be a jerk. Have you considered this? It's his job to be a jerk. Ugh. But maybe he could just oh. Not, oh. Yeah, having to rely on the right stick is really messing me up. I wonder why you struggle with the right stick for aiming. I don't know, I just do. I cause like we talked about this when we played Real Gungeon too, and like and, and nuclear throne, they all, they all do it. Yeah, but Isaac's totally fine for you. Yeah. Don't know. Shit. Ah. Shouldn't have gone down twice. Oh, when you're blowing green like that, that means your gun's about to change. Oh, I hadn't noticed. I didn't notice until late Bleh. last night. Me. <laughs> I'm hoping to get to some of the weird later levels to show you because they are nuts. Yeah. Yeah. Like, um, you oh, in later levels, you're not just in an elevator going up. Like, I've had ones where I am controlling the elevator left and right oh, with God. two giant buttons that I have to constantly micromanage. And there's one with six buttons, which are all platforms that you have to stand on. And if you don't stand on them, they raise up, turn yellow, and they're a bullet kick. And oh. they start shooting at you until you step on them again. Oh dear, that's terrible. It's real hectic, man. So it definitely gets challenging, then. It's challenging already. Well, yeah, but like, it is able to up it. <laughs> It does it in real interesting ways, too. It's not just like, the enemies have more HP. It's like, nah, man, what if? <laughs> what if you had to micromanage the level? <laughs> oh, God, I can't imagine what <laughs> bullet hell will be like. Duracell battery. Take a step back and aim. I'm trying. Yeah, but like you're right in his face. That's how I hit him. This isn't enter the melee weapon, Gungeon. Maybe dungeon. it should be. 
into the munchen. <laughs> the, the, the munchen. The That's munchen. It. We have to fight with food. I have a game I want to make. <laughs> that anime, Food Wars. Yeah. I want to make that, but game. <laughs> Ooh, just Ooh. some health. That's nice. I like health. Yeah. Listen, I'm bad at the game. I like health. Oh, that's fine. Health's pretty good, you know? I, I underrate health. And it's all because of Nuclear Throne. Yeah. And even in Nuclear Throne, health's really goddamn important, right? Mm hmm. But I remember, um, because um, it was an early access game yeah. that the developers would stream, and I remember one of the developers in Nuclear Throne, JW, mm -hmm. saying that he really, like, he thought the health upgrades were boring. Yeah. And I thought about it, and I was like, you know what? I completely agree. Health is just sort of boring. Like, I'll only take Oops. it if I need to. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm like, no, give me the give me the big shooty upgrades. Yeah, just get good, don't get hit. <laughs> if I don't get hit, I don't need to have more health. It's true. Big brain energy. Mm-hmm. That guy touching his temple looking like smug dot meme. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean. I know you know what I mean. I think I know which one you mean, but oops. I think it's boss time. Okay. It's just all imagine if some guy giving himself a head massage, like, mmm, touch my temple. Hell yeah. Oh, also, I haven't said it in the episode, I don't think. Man, I love the um the convict new art. Shoot those side bullets. Oh, I, can, I didn't know I could. Yeah, I, that's why I said they were enemies before. I thought they were just like passive things on the wall that would kill me. Now what are you doing? Get low, get low. Get low. I find it a good idea not to be on her level. Oh, she's got to get on my level. I think I might have been out of blanks. I was trying to hit the blank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Charlotte. What? You're getting good. Good. Get good. I am good. Look at me win. That's the face of a winner. <laughs> That's the right face there. of victory. <laughs> oh, it got me right away. But yeah, I love the convicts and you are in this. Like, throw up a comparison. What a glow up. <laughs> Ooh, regular shotgun. Oh, shooty, shooty, blast man. What? I think I picked that health up the second before I needed it. Yeah, you'd be like, combo up, got hit, need health, Ah. Oh, <laughs> uh. I quite like the direction part. Me too. So I don't have to aim. Thinking about it, um, the guy who's making the elevators in this, mm. he said that um, the elevators were all different for different engineers with just a slight bit of crossover. Yeah. This is a jail cell. It's a jail cell. Um, the level where I'm having to control which way the elevator goes, like left and right. You... Left and right. Left and right. Shut your privacy. Jeez. What am I, Todd? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that one is the pilot's level. It makes sense that he'd have to steer a ship. Yeah. He's the goddamn MRF in pilot. Well, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm I'm just thinking about things. Stop doing that. That bullet can blow himself up, did you see? Yeah. Man, that guy's got a hat for some... What's with the hats? I don't know what's with the hats. People just got hats. Do you think there's unlockable hats that your characters can just wear? I hope so, because you did start out with a hat. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Boots! Oh, you got gun boots. Oh. They go down well. Nice. Get it? Nice. Do you get it? I get the game reference. It's down well. The game about gun boots. Gun boot. Down well's a sweet ass game. Really difficult. Um, some people have played it on YouTube. 
I don't know how they do it. It's such a hard game to talk while playing. <laughs> it's <laughs> the focus. Go fuck you. Okay. And the wind-up gun. You can't sing that. You can't sing "Pop Goes the Weasel" to the. Well, go fuck you to the tune of "Pop Goes the Weasel" without the wind-up gun. Sure, I can, and I just did. I won't allow it to happen again. All right. Ooh, sick dodge. Thank you. Sick. Frogs. Give me money. Don't the, the money will suck up into you at the end. Oh. Yeah, you oh. don't have to worry about picking it up. I thought I needed the dog for it to suck up. Nah, nah, it like magnets to you a little, but then at the end of um, you know, basically before the elevator comes to its end, like when you come into a room or something, or yeah. a boss appears, it just slurps up all the money. Oh, okay. That's how I've been able to tell when the bosses are showing up mostly. Just because the money gets slurped. Yeah. Oh, nice one. Thank you. Oh, not so nice. Not so nice, but you tried. I do too also really hate charge up guns. It's because they break my flow. Yeah. Oh, you. hello again. The Medusa Leer. I'm going to die right away. Nah. Yeah. I'm not very good against them. Oh, it's fine. Do you want to have one more go? Yeah, I'll have one more go. And then we'll call this the Charlotte Special. <laughs> the Charlotte died a lot. I'm glad you gave it a go, and hopefully, if there is a co-op in the game, we can do it sometime. I think yeah. this game is screaming for couch co-op. Same. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. You got the bullet gun, though. The bullet. <laughs> he just does the commentary for me. Bullet. 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 Ah, oh, fuck. Now I have to think. Bullet. No. Bullet. <laughs> Bullet. Bullet. You're Bullet. not really thinking. <laughs> Bullet. This is my art form, and I thank you not to criticise it. I can cri criticise your art form. Oh. Go get fucked. Of course you can criticise art. Yeah. Do you know what criticism I always hate of criticisms? What? You know, when someone gives you some criticism that's actually pretty good, and people respond with like, it was like, I'd like to see you do better, and it's like, that's not the point. No. I'm, I'm giving you this criticism so you can do it better. But now I see that you are, in fact, a shitlord baby man child, so I will never make that mistake again. Yeah. It's like if someone's giving you actual constructive criticism of something to maybe try or consider. I know sometimes people don't want criticism as well. But yeah. Like, I see people be like, you know, criticism appreciated, especially on DeviantArt back in the day. And then people leave criticism, and then people, you know, they didn't get hug boxed enough, and they were just like, ooh. It's just my style, man. It's like. Yeah, they get real defensive about it, and it's like, it's not a criticism of you, it's. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's literally a critique of something you asked for feedback on, so stop being yeah. a fucking bitch. It, it's like... Unsolicited feedback, I get. Yeah, I, I can get not wanting it and not asking for it, but normally I'm just like, please tell me how you think I could do better. And then I never fucking get any. <laughs> it's like, ugh! I should just be like, no, don't give me any feedback. Yeah, what you need is a drama circle. People, People love drama. Oh, who can I start a beef with in the art community? Me. Fuck you, Zeke. Your art's too cute. It makes me puke. I'm doing oh, it I'm right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll work harder. Good. To not draw. <laughs> <laughs> hey, armor. Yay. Hey, bees. bees. I like me some bees. It's time for the usual reference. What's this? A handsome family picnic woefully underpopulated by bees? Yes. This looks like a job for Dr. Bees. Dr. Bees, go away. Dr. Bees is my favourite superhero slash villain. I think he thinks he's a hero. 
<laughs> I love that his he's like by day like an office working wasp enthusiast <laughs> or something. Ooh, the blessing of caliber. That's a good one. It just changed your gun. Oh. Okay. I need to learn what all of those are. Because being able to change my gun when I don't like it. Useful. Hell yeah. I bet there's an item that increases the chance of getting things like that. Yeah. To, to to liken it to Nuclear Throne, a rabbit's paw, if you will. Ooh. Also, Nuclear Throne and a lot of Lambia games, ah. who also made Super Crate Box, just FYI. <laughs> um, they have Lambia. They never do discounts. Never. Never. They just don't. They don't do sales. They don't do Steam sales and stuff. They just. Not interested. Okay. They don't want people. Like they say, it's because they don't want people just buying their games because, like, it cost a dollar. They're like, I want people to buy our game and want to play it. But they've put them at the highest discount Steam will allow. I don't know what it actually is. Mm -hmm. And I think that's probably come. That might already be over at the time I'm talking oh, about shit. it. Yeah. But they have recently done that. Like a lot of game developers are to help with. Um, the. To help with boredom of people self-isolating. Yeah. You've got blanks if you need them. I, I know. I was hoping I could hold off. I felt like I was a distraction then. I'm sorry. It's all right. You're doing good, though. You're consistently getting to the bosses. Oh, that's good. It's just, it feels like I'm not getting better, if you get me. You're learning how to do the bosses. A big... Think about the first time you played Isaac. You died on the first floor so many times. I still hate Monstro. People can say he's the easiest boss, but like his upward spit always gets me. Oh, where he goes. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> right, this has been Exit the Gungeon. Oh. Again, really recommend this. It is not, I don't think it's going to be a full Gungeon experience. If you haven't played either of these games, Enter or Exit the Gungeon, I think I personally recommend Enter the Gungeon more. This is really fun, though. This is a nice, fun little romp. And we'll probably do a couple more, at least all the characters, right? Yeah. So for now, thank you for watching. And bye-bye. See you with the commander.